Okay, the video stopped while I was rolling out my pie crust because the phone rang. So we're going to just continue here, trying to roll this out. You got the gist of what you need, though. Kind of pressing it together where it's trying to come apart in spots. Continue rolling until you feel like it's going to fit in your pie pan. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Mine are definitely not beautiful, but I'm rolling the edges around like this to try to get it so it's kind of even and still together here. Put these back together a little bit because it'll just flake apart when you're done. Let me see. Are you getting a good view? Yeah, you are. Okay, and then once you kind of get the thickness that you think you want, get your pie pan somewhat close so you know where it is. Okay, get the pie crust over here, hopefully rolled on the rolling pin. It looks like it's going to be falling apart pretty well, so... I might have to start over, there we go, come on. But it's nice and flaky, you roll it up a little bit like this. Put your pie pan over here. Move your pie crust over to here so it fits in, okay? And then gently kind of press it down in there. Press the pie crust in there, press it together down inside of here a little bit. Like I said, my pie crusts are not beautiful, but they taste good, so that's all that matters. And you do the same thing for the other pie crust. Now, once you get this in here and it's all pressed in, take the sides if you want, decorate them, do whatever you want. I generally just take them off. doesn't matter. You can get fancy. Some people will get fancy with a fork and pinch them together like that. I don't. Okay, and then before you put a filling, I do, before I put pumpkin pie filling, I always take a fork and poke a couple holes in it just so the pie crust won't, um, bubble up in the middle when you're cooking. So now you got this done, you're going to set it aside. And if you want, you can add some more. You can push on it up here and make it all pretty. But don't play with it too much, because if you do, it's going to get tough. And we don't want it tough. Okay? So we'll set this aside, and we'll do the other pie crust. And then, when we're ready for pumpkin pie, which is what these are going to be, we'll put these inside the oven and pour the pie filling inside the pipe the pumpkin pie crust in the oven so we don't have to carry it because it'll be sloshy. So here's number one. We're going to move it. Number two, we're going to take this excess here that's left over, kind of put it together. We're going to sort of knead these just a little bit together. Add more flour here. And we're going to do the same exact thing for pie crust number two. So we're going to set this out here, kind of flatten it a little bit. Move it around a little bit so that we know it's not going to stick to anything. Because if it sticks, that's when it'll fall apart. Okay, so here's my roller again. Okay, here we go. So we're going to roll this out now. Remember just rolling and around the edges so you hopefully get it to stay together. It's nice and flaky. You can see which is really good. This one I use regular Crisco. You can use butter flavor Crisco as well. It works really good. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. Add a little more flour down here. There again, my pie crusts are not beautiful, but they taste pretty good, so. I'm not Betty Crocker and I don't claim to be. COVID instructions on how to make pie. Okay, so I'm just rolling it out. It's really flaky on the edges. Not rolling it hard. I don't want to push hard because if I do, it might get stuck to the counter a little bit down there. But when I get it to where I think it's about the size I want, I'm going to get my pie pan here and put it down and go, yeah, that's pretty close. I'm going to set it near it. I'm going to take this whatever way I'm able to get a hold of it and roll it around the rolling pin like this without pressing. Pull it over here set it on here and roll it over again push it down in just like i did the last one this one actually looks a little bit prettier now you can if you want just do this on the edges because dad likes pie crust so sometimes i'll do that some people will press it together to make it pretty on there i personally don't deal with that because i'm into flavor more than beauty and i'm not trying to impress anybody. So we have, then we have another pie crust here. Don't forget to take your fork and go 
in the middle. There's no pattern or no randomness, just four or five times. Now this is done, so we'll set this aside. Then when we have our pie filling, we'll add that to it. But what I'll do is I'll stop the video for now and show you when it's time to put the pie filling.